Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to class today. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and we will continue to work on sequence of events, coins, and the plant life cycle. As always, we're going to start our lesson with phonics. Okay, we've been focusing on the long vowel sounds, and this week especially the long E. So I want you to take a look at a video that you've seen before, but just kind of as review. So I'm sure you remember that video. So I hope it helps you remember when the magic E changes the, your, the vowel, okay? So on this activity, uh, you're actually gonna be completing this activity on your own and it is waiting for you in Seesaw. So um, what you have to do Okay, listen closely. The directions say spell words with long E. You can hear the long E sound in the middle of the word seed. Write the word for each picture. So the first one is a sheep. Number two is a jeep. Number three, toes, or no, I'm sorry, feet. Number four is queen. So that one's waiting for you in Seesaw and in Google Classroom, okay? We're gonna go ahead and move on to our reading lesson. So if you wanna complete this worksheet now, you can just pause the video and start it again when you're ready. All right, so in reading, we're working on sequence of events, the order that things happen we will continue right where we left off yesterday, okay? So you'll remember this from yesterday, right? You should. So you watched me complete this yesterday. I showed you what we have to look for in when we're looking for what happened first, right? So what we're going to do is on the next slide in a minute, you're going to take a look and you're going to listen very closely to what happened next because we're going to attempt to do this together, okay? And then you have to pay very good attention because then and last, you're going to have to complete those on your own. All right. This neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Hmm. Can you believe it? I mean, 
Who in his right mind would build a house of straw? Hmm. So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house, so I called. Little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar from my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed the house in. And you know what? The whole barn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He had been home the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner laying there in the straw. So I ate it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just laying there. Okay, so that is what happened next. This neighbor. Okay, so right here, you see what we wrote from yesterday, okay? Oh, and I finally figured it out, boys and girls. I figured out that I, my fingers are like not good with writing. So I wanted you to understand what I was saying. So. I started typing it in. That's a good idea, right? Well, hopefully it'll help you read it better. So we put first, the wolf was not going to the little pig's house to eat him. He went to borrow a cup of sugar for his granny's cake. So why did I write that? Well, remember that when you're trying to decide what the important events of a story is, you need to remember what the book is about, what the author is trying to tell you. So here the title is the true story of the three little pigs, right? So he's trying to tell you his side of the story, the wolf, okay? So that's why that's important here, okay? So he's trying to prove that he's really not a big bad wolf, that it was just an accident. So that is this important to proving that it was just an accident? Because in the other stories we've heard, the three little pigs are saying that He's a big bad wolf and he came to my house and he tried to blow it down and he wanted to eat me. Well, he's saying, I'm a nice wolf. I was just trying to make a cake for my granny. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause it for a minute and think, think of what goes next what's important and if you want to listen to it again you can like what's important for the wolf story in the part we just heard okay go ahead and pause it and think of your answer okay now that you have tried to think of your own answer. Um, I don't want you to write it down or anything. I just wanted you to think of your own answer. What comes next? If you have a partner or somebody at home, you could talk to at this time and tell them what you think is important that we wrote, that we could write for next. Okay, this is what I wrote. I wrote the wolf sneezed while he was at the pig's house, and that's how the house was blown down. Okay, 
So did we get kind of the same answer? Okay. Well, if you didn't get the same answer as I did or something similar, that's okay. You'll have this activity in Seesaw to finish the then part and the last part. And remember that it's not due tomorrow, so you don't have to do it all, okay? It's not due until the end of the week. So what tomorrow in tomorrow's lesson, I'm going to provide to you the trimmed um, parts of the story like I did here so that you can finish the then and the last on your own, and then I want to see what, what you did. Okay, so we're done with reading. You can go ahead and pause the video and get ready for math. For math, you are going to need some coins again, um, but not the nickels. You will need some pennies and some dimes. See you in math. All right, so today in math, we're gonna be doing something very similar to what we did yesterday. But like I said, not with nickels, with dimes and pennies. So again, if you don't have your coins that you need, don't worry, You're, you can use mine like we did yesterday. Okay, so here we go. This time I got smarter and I actually wrote on the left-hand side our numbers all the way to 100 and skip counting by tens. So I wrote 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And in, when we're counting coins, we don't write 100. We write it like this because this tells me that this is $1. So in coins, anything that equals 100 equals one whole dollar. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, again, separate. Okay. So let's see how many 10 coins we have one two three four five six so we have six so right here just to help me I'm gonna kind of put so we have six so that makes 60 cents in dimes but we still have pennies to count so pennies we count by one so it's, you start 60, and what's, if you think of a number line, what is the next number that comes after 60 if you start counting in ones? So if you add one to 60, it's 61, 62, 63. So right here, boys and girls, you have 60. 63 cents. Oh, we're getting more coins now. I'm sure you can buy a lot with 63 cents. We'll see. Okay, let's move on to the second one. So the second one, let me erase this, okay? So let's take a look how many dimes we have. One, two, three dimes. So it's 10, 20, 30 because we have three dimes. Let's count how many pennies. One, two, three, four, five. So if you have 30, oh, and that's not a good color to use. Okay. If you have 30 and you count up five, what number is it? So let me see. 30. And if you have 5, your total is 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So what is your answer? 
Very good. You do have 35 cents. Is it getting easier for you? I hope it is. We're going to keep practicing. Don't worry. All right. Let's move on to the last one. All right. How many dimes do we have? Who's that president on there? Hmm. Abraham Lincoln? No. I hope you remember. Let's see. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five dimes. What? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So that means we have 50 cents, right? Let's see. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, very good. So if we have 50 cents, how many ones do we have? One and two. So if we add in two, our total cents is 52 cents. Very good. What do you think? Easy peasy? It is. I think it is for you guys. I think it's too easy for you. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the next. So here we go, boys and girls. These are for you to practice. So you can pause the video and practice with your coins like you did yesterday. And this activity will be waiting for you in Seesaw. All right, so it's science time already. That was quick. So science, we're still focusing and learning about plant life cycles. I wanted to share with you some of the plants that made it. Yeah, your friends, some of your friends are, they know how to plant. Uh, not me, but some of your friends, they, they can. Okay, so if, if your photo is not in here, don't feel bad, because guess what? Neither is mine, because my plants didn't make it. All right. So the, here they are, Eileen, she, her plant is sprouting, Brandon's is as well, Jose, wow, that is, that is definitely a healthy plant, Sophia also, and Richard, look at Richard, he even had to change, um, he had to move it into an actual pot. Wow. So we have some really good farmers here in our class, right? If we needed to, they could grow some good beans. So good job, guys. I hope you had fun with this activity. Some of you messaged me that, oh, Miss Cantu, my plant was smelly, so I threw it away. Mine too. That's why I threw it away, because it was like, oof, stinky. But it's okay, you could start all over. I honestly don't know what I did wrong, but I've never been good at planting. So, good job, give a round of applause to your friends. They're good, they're good farmers. All right, so today I wanted us to make a life cycle craft, okay? I'm going to use recyclable stuff that's around my house i don't know i haven't decided what yet but i'll send you a photo of it tomorrow um with things that i have here at home so that i don't have to go out or and get anything just for this so you can use any of these examples but you do not have to use any of these okay if you have a better idea than these four ideas that are here then you do it however you want, but you do it as small or as big as you want, okay? But I do want it to be a cool little crafty project where you're telling me the life cycle with the seeds, seedling, sprout, plant, okay? 
a lot of our, some of our friends are in the sprouting stage and some of them were plants. Me, I'm in the seed again, I guess the second time. So, um, but I'm still gonna make the full life cycle, okay? So once you make yours, you can send me photos and I'll, I'll take a look and I'm gonna start sharing more of our photos here in our classroom um, lessons, okay? Well, believe it or not, boys and girls, we are done. That is it for today. Today was a quick day. So see you tomorrow. Don't be late. And I still miss you very much and love you very much. And I hope that you're behaving for your parents and hope to see you soon.